Hey everyone, just a quick word before we get started on this beer review. If you're interested in purchasing any of these beers that you see on my channel, stick around to the end of the video and I will tell you where you can purchase them at online. Now isn't that lovely? Have beer shipped right to your home and don't have to go anywhere. All right, enjoy the video. Cheers to that. Welcome, my friends. Here we are once again to sample some more great tasting American craft beers with Dave. Fantastic. Now for our sampling pleasures and tasting delights today. Oh, this is a very fine brewery, no doubt about it. Let's talk about it. It's from the Deschutes Brewing Company. Now they're located in Bend, Oregon. And this is the Hop Trip, described as a fresh hop pale ale. That's what it says, baby. Fresh Hot Pale Ale. So they're not describing it as an IPA. They're describing it as a pale ale. Now this checks in at 5.7% alcohol by volume and the IBUs are 53. According to the date stamp on the back, this beer is good for another two weeks. So that's uh, better than the last one I had because the last beer I had from the shoots a couple of days ago was two months past its prime. But it was still quite lovely because it was bottle conditioned. And so is this bottle. It is bottle conditioned. You use this lovely glassware, my IPA glassware, although it's a pail. It'll do quite nicely. Now what you want to do is kind of straighten this out and let that kind of stew at the bottom, if you will. It's, uh, uh, what's that special glassware called? Aerate, aeration. Yeah, it's aerated. And you see it'll bring up a lovely head. You don't have to pour too much in there. Oh, it's a very beautiful, wow, look at that. It's like a bronze color. You know, it doesn't really come out on the camera bronze. It does here though. Wow, it is lovely. Now remember, this is bottle condition. So if you do, if you want to hold out that last little bit, you're more than welcome to it. All it is is yeast. It's not going to hurt you. I poured it all in there and it is quite lovely, isn't it? Beautiful beautiful beige, strikingly beautiful beige colored head on there. Well, it's got some lively carbonation as you would expect from a bottle conditioned beer. Let's get some aroma. Oh, lovely. <laughs> lovely indeed. Oh my goodness. There's some bright citrus, some tropical fruit, and some pine. Now this is brewed with Bravo, Centennial, and Crystal hops. So uh, we would expect a little pine in there with that combination. Oh, man, some sweet orange peel in there. This is going to be a great beer. Hey, before we drink this, you always have to thank the brewers. You have to pay homage to the brewers because without the brewers, we would have no beer, baby. So let's thank the brewers there at the Shoots Brewing Company in uh, Bend, Oregon, and thank you for watching at home. Cheerio. Yes, indeed. That is flavorful. That is very flavorful. Everything that I described in the aroma is apparent in the taste. Wow, man, that orange peel in there is kicking. I like it. That is a very easy drinking IPA. If you have some friends who really want to find out what an IPA is all about with all, all that... Uh, horrible bitterness from some of those IBUs, those high IBUs. Have them try this one right here, the Hop Trip. This is an extremely easy drinking beer. Oh my gosh, this is really good and chock full of flavor. Lovely citrus in there. Mmm. I'm getting, I'm picking up some mango, some orange peel, some lovely malts in here, very strong malt backbone, and a slightly dry, not too bitter finish. Yeah, I like this beer. It's very good. Man, look at the lacing that's leaving behind there. Lovely head. Oh, man, this, this is a very well-crafted beer. And you know straight away, I'll have to give it five stars. It's solid gold, baby. One more time. Deschutes Brewing Company. They're located in Bend, Oregon. Now, this brew is uh, processed in the brewery until the end of October each year. So if you want to try this, you're going to have to rush in to your local beer emporium. 
and hopefully try to find it on the shelf. If not, you'll have to wait until next. Uh, they brew that at the end of September. September and October. They brew it for two months, and then that's the end of it. So it's worth waiting for if you got to wait till next October. That's what you got to do. Oh, man. Your room was a killer. Tastes even better. Remember, Dr. Dave says, life is short. You got to be happy, my friends. Remember, he said that. And on that note, until we meet next time, here's wishing all of you the very best of goodbyes. And as always, cheers. Okay, everyone. As promised, Dr. Dave's going to tell you where he buys his beers and where you can buy them also. First on the list is RivalryBrews.com. Now, don't worry. I'm going to put the links in the description box for you. Rivalry Brews is a relatively new mail order place. It's based right here in Ohio in Medina. And they are fantastic. I tell you what, when they first started, I got free shipping on all the beers. Now, I think they it, it charged me $2.00. $2 for 12 beers. That's fantastic. Now, as far as I know, they ship to the lower 48, but you might want to check the website on that. I can't be 100% sure, but the shipping is fast. The turnaround is fast, and if anything's wrong, they will fix it right away. I only had one issue with them, and they refunded half my purchase order, which I thought was more than fair, more than fair. So anyway, uh, by the way, disclaimer, I don't get any money on any of this. I'm not affiliated with any of these beer companies. They don't know I'm doing this. I'm just telling you where to buy the beer. Now, one day I may be affiliated, and if I am at that point, I'll certainly let you know. So Rivalry Brews, located right here in Ohio. They specialize in Ohio beers, uh, beers from Pennsylvania and Indiana. So if you want some good Ohio craft beer, that's a good place to start. The second one on my list, oh, I love this place. It's called Halftime Beer. Halftime Beer has two locations in New York State, Poughkeepsie, and I believe it's pronounced Mamoronic. Mamoronic. Yeah, don't quote me on that pronunciation. I tried my best. Yeah, anyway. They have more beer online than you could possibly look at in a day. I'm telling you, they have beer everywhere on that website. And all you have to do is go on there, make your selection, and have it shipped. Now, they do have gift boxes, which come with a really nice cooler. Yeah, and uh, you can't beat it. It's $5 shipping on those uh, special orders. Now, on the other beers, the shipping can get a little bit pricey, but I've never had an order for more than $20 shipping, which I think is really good for 12 bottles of beer. Now, if you get cans, it's less cost because it, less, it weighs less, uh, and that's what costs the money is the weight and the size of the box. So, yeah, check them out. Now, I belong to two of their uh, what's known as Beer of the Month Club. I'm in their German beer of the month club so i get 12 bottles from six different breweries two of each once a month and there's a lot of beers in there that i've never heard of from germany i thought i had them all not even close and then i have the around the world beer club which is exactly what it sounds like it's beers from all over the world so far i only got one beer that i didn't really like uh you know it happens it happens, and, uh, you know, you take your chances on that. But uh, I got some beer from South Korea, of all places, South Korea. I thought it was really, really good. Now, last on the list, but not least, and I didn't put these in any particular order, it's the Best Damn Beer Shop. Now, they're out of San Diego, and they have a killer selection, I'm telling you. Matter of fact, talking about all this beer, I'm going to have to have one here. Mm. That's just a regular run-of-the-mill Pilsner, German style, but it hits the spot on a day like this. Anyway, best damn beer shop. Woo! Now, their shipping, they require you to uh, choose in lots of six. So you can get six, 12, 18, 24 is the maximum. And uh, their shipping is reasonable, considering I'm on the East Coast and they're on the West Coast. Yeah, the shipping is generally about $19 for a 
bottle selection, which I don't think is a lot. $19? No, I don't think that's a lot. Now, the more beer you buy, the less money it's going to cost. That's just a fact of economics. So if you want to buy six beers, it's going to cost more to ship it than the 12. Hey, I, I don't make the rules, man. Just buy more beer. You save more money on shipping. What can I tell you? Yeah, but they're a great place. And uh, so all, all three of those places, Rivalry Brews uh, for Ohio beers. And then you have the uh, Halftime Beverage, which is in New York. They have a selection on everything. And same thing with Best Damn Beer Shop. Now, if you want some West Coast beers that you can't find in your town, that's the place to buy them at. Last but not least, people always ask me, what is that on your beer glass? Well, I bought it at Amazon, Amazon Amazon.com. It's called a Vacuvin, Vacuvin. And if I'm not mistaken, it's from uh, Sweden, if I'm not mistaken. And the inside of it is lined with special material. So what you do is you put this in the freezer, you let it sit overnight, and then you put your beverage in here. And it will maintain that beverage at around 38 degrees, which is really cold for a beer. But I like my pills just cold. Now, if you already have a beer that warmed up, put it in here and it'll bring it to the proper temperature, no doubt. And I said last, but I I was mistaken. This is the last thing I want to talk about. Uh, Dr. Day's beer glasses. Now, I did sell these a number of years ago when I had my other beer channel. and um. This is a new design, though. This is a different design. Now, I could sell these if there's enough interest in them, but I have to order them uh, about 144 at a time. So I don't want to order them unless there's some real interest in them. Now, it's difficult to see on here, but it says Dr. Dave's cheap-ass beer reviews. Yeah, uh, it's not really going to come out that well there on the camera, but I would sell these uh, at cost. Now, I'm not trying to make any money on them. I think it cost me $14.98 to, uh, to have those made. So I would sell them at the same price. Now, I don't know if the price could have gone up because I did buy those a few years back. So, But I would sell them at cost if anybody's interested. But uh, like I said, I don't get any money off these links. There's no affiliate, uh, affiliate links here. I'm not making any money. I just wanted to let everybody know where I buy my beer so you could buy it too. Oh, and you know, I almost forgot. The Amazing Clubs Beer of the Month Club. Amazing Clubs. I'll put all the links in the description box. Knock yourself out. Hey, thanks for watching, okay? And Dr. Dave says cheers to that.